this week is Berlin Ice Cream Week. It means you get to get ice cream for one euro everywhere. For well, certain spots, and this is what I'm doing today with uh, some friends. This is the first stop. Walking to the. Do you want to be. This is going to be on YouTube. Is that okay for you? Tell the people what we're going to do now. Hi everyone. Um, we're doing an ice cream tour of Berlin where every ice cream this week is one euro and we're off for number two. Review. What do you think? 10 out of 10. Okay. Bitter, but delicious. What's your review, Fiona? <laughs> bitter, no? It's bitter. I don't think I like it that much. Everyone, you have to try out good falafel. Best falafel in Berlin. Yeah, we had Kaya. So we're going to take the train to the next ice cream place. <laughs> Kaya says she's already like getting full and I'm just like I'm ready to do everything she threw away her last ice cream <laughs> yeah. we've got to the third one I'm also filming for YouTube so. I would say this is like a solid 7 out of 10. I love the coconut. The tamarind fruit is a little sour, but it's yummy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, we are off to the fourth stop. Sorry, the sun is in my face, but um, yeah, there's, there's a long line. Uh, so, I'm hopping. This one is really, really good, but I can check it out. Listen, forget the light. 10 out of 10. Probably 15 out of 10. Mm. Agreed. Whatever this is, the like drizzle, 10 out of so 10. So good. I would say a solid 9 Gabriella, out of 10. Gabriella, so yes. 9 out of 10? Yeah. Why 9? Um, I don't think it needs the jam. I think it could have been... Just the peanut? Just the peanut and the chocolate. But it's yummy. What do you think, like Gabriella? peanut butter and jelly. True. I've recently gotten to a peanut butter and jelly kick, so... Okay. This is my favorite. It's with uh, peanuts and what else? Ooh, jelly. And jelly. Yeah. <laughs> and cacao chips. And cacao chips. The ice cream hunt is amazing. It was amazing. And now I've decided to come to this place called Mawa Park. And this is where all of Berlin hangs out when the weather is nice. And look, it's insane. Like all people are here. Because it's a sunny weather today. So that means everybody almost all of Berlin is gathered here they like play drums and stuff uh, dancing it's pretty interesting I've been so hungry I realized like all day all I'd eaten was ice cream so now I've got myself a falafel with halloumi it's really really good mm. I thought I would wait until I get home, but mm -mm. okay. So the plan today is 
um, to go around the other places as well because there's just so many places yesterday we were only able to do like um, five and I'm hoping to do as many as um, can be until at least like Wednesday so today is Monday and yeah so I'll most probably try like the ones that are also not vegan and um, I'll go with a friend and then we'll see about that peanuts and like chocolates like everything ever you guys this is an addiction so what did they do I was just passing by from the other stop and I realized the next stop is right next to me and now I'm thinking like should I do it or shouldn't I I think I want to do it So the lady was really really nice um, and she offered me the vegan option if I didn't want the chocolate option and usually I'm not a big fan of like chocolate ice cream so I took her option and it's the best decision ever I've never eaten ice cream so fast so good 10 out of 10 for the vegan one so we didn't make it to this one because they had closed we were quite late and so we decided to go for dinner at this tapas place which was um in my opinion quite expensive for the stuff that you get but it was really good um yeah and look at that beautiful sunset oh my god I'm obsessed with sunsets and I love sunsets in Berlin. I guess like a lot of people could relate to this, but it's such a big deal for me. This is possibly day three of this ice cream hunt. Uh, this is the most exciting thing ever. Um, I have like a lot of stuff to do, but because of this little trip before I have to do everything else, um, it left me very like, motivated so I can had to get out of the house um so let's see how much I can eat today and how good they are I'm, hope I'm hoping they're really really good I have some places in mind there's like a, a map that I'm kind of following and yeah so as the first ice cream of the day today I am going to give it like a seven out of ten my review is for a ginger ice cream because it was it was a raspberry ginger ice cream um it didn't test so much like there was ginger in there and for me like i'm a big fan of ginger so that was like a seven yeah but the raspberry is really good you could like actually test them So my general opinion on this one is I'm not a very big fan of pesto, maybe just as a sauce, but not in terms of like ice cream. And so for that reason, I'm going to give it like a six out of 10. And also the, the place they removed this, uh, there's this card that they show you on the door if they're offering this like um, a taking part of the Berlin uh, ice cream week or not. And it doesn't say anymore and so i had to ask her i was like are you taking part and she was like yeah we still are i was like put the other sign so we don't have to feel awkward trying to get ice cream but yeah in general like she was really friendly and very nice and i got my ice cream i just would say i'm not a very big fan of like pesto yeah just as a sauce maybe but yeah really good off to another stop I tried to get there yesterday, but um, it's quite late, so they're already closed. So I'm going back today. I think I 
like so far today this must be my favorite i would definitely probably go back for more at some point but i really really like it it just um you can test the mango flavor which i really really like um, yeah but yes 10 out of 10. i kind of feel a bit frustrated right now because yesterday i was in the same area but i didn't know that the place that i'm going to right now is around the same place so i've done like a double trip which is quite annoying but it's okay i made it So the thing is, it doesn't um, actually taste like the kind of chocolate that I hate, which is um, quite nice actually. But I also can't tell if it tastes a bit like... Guys, for a person who hates chocolate ice cream, that was the best chocolate ice cream I ever had, ever. 20 out of 10. actually fun fact this is my favorite ice cream place chippy chippy bomb they have like natural ice cream they made it <laughs> it's like homemade and uh like just aside or like outside of this balloon ice cream week it's my favorite ice cream place in berlin so having this for one euro today i'm like living the best life because usually it's quite um expensive Actually, not really, but um, it still makes a difference to just get ice cream for you. Um, yeah, I think I'm officially crazy. I've made trips, but so far this has been the longest trip I've made. Crazy. I hope the ice cream is worth it. Like for some reason, I just decided to take the longest trips today. Um, the one that I just had was probably like a... I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I don't know. I know I've been saying like really good uh, for the longest time, but that's actually really good. Um, yeah. Seven hours. Anyways, all together, this was so much fun. Um, I mean, it was a whole week, but I only managed four days, which was good.